Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome to Apron Strings. Well, we're fixing to start our goodies. And today we're going to make, some people call it Christmas toffee, Christmas crack, cracker toffee. It has lots of different names. But it really doesn't matter what you call it, it's good. So, and it's easy. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, head y'all over to the butcher block, and we're going to get started. I'm going to show you what my ingredients are. We're going to have to have a sleeve of saltine crackers, or I've already got some open here and I'm just going to line my pan with them. One cup of butter, one cup of granulated sugar. We need pecans to sprinkle on the top, and we need chocolate chips. Calls for 12 ounces. I have mine already opened up and in a container, so I just guesstimated. Now, I am going to turn you around where you can see. I've showed this tip before, but you line your pan with foil, and I want to show you how to make it really easy to get your foil on your pan where to fit down in there. So let me move the camera around where y'all can see. hope it's new for some of you. I like to give you a new tip. Okay, here's what you do. You take your pan and you turn it over with the bottom up. And then you take your foil, lay it over your pan, and fit it over it. It's like you're trying to cover it to wrap it or something. Fit it snugly over your pan. And then lift it off. You got your shape of the pan here. Turn your pan over. And it goes right down in there. Look, I hadn't even poked it in the corners yet, and it's in there like it's supposed to be. Now, I do come in with my knuckle to keep from poking holes in it and press it into the corner good. But see how easy and good that fits? So now what I'm going to do, so this will turn loose when we get through, is I'm going to spray it lightly with Pam. You can use whatever spray you want, just so it won't stick, because... We're going to cook our butter and sugar, and it's going to make a, like a toffee, kind of, and you don't want it to stick to the bottom of your pan. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to layer these crackers in here side by side. One time my daddy worked with a man, and daddy came home one day laughing and said, <clears throat> instead of saying, boy, that traffic was just side by side on the freeway, that man said side by each. So that's kind of a fun saying that we do. Man, it's side by each. Funny how different, I guess maybe he was from a different area than from around here because all of us say side by side, but they were side by each. For this 9 by 13 pan, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of four, of four crackers. So that kind of gives you an idea. I don't have any in a sleeve, but that's how many it's taken to cover the bottom of my pan. Years ago, our kin folks lived in Bonnier, Texas, and we were over there visiting. And uh, our cousin Jason made this, and I think he had gotten it from his sister's in-laws, Bertha McCarty, I think is where it came from. And then I ran across the recipe again the other day, and I thought, I think that's what Jason made that time that was so good. So, Jason, you're probably watching. You can text me and tell me yes or no, but I'm going to try it and see how mine turns out. I like easy, and I like good. And obviously, I like calories. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pound of butter, I mean our half a pan, two sticks of butter, and put it in our pot, and you want a kind of a heavy pot because you got to bring this to a boil and boil it for a little bit. Put it in there on the stove and a cup of granulated sugar. And we're going to bring it to a boil, and I'm going to set the timer and let it boil about four minutes. And then we're going to pour that over our crackers. Get my butter melt in here. Let me get the camera where y'all can see the stove. I'll be right back. Alrighty, got my butter in there and it's oh lordy, it's starting to melt and the floor's gonna be dirty as usual. I'll have to get me a paper towel and get that up. 
I'll go ahead and sprinkle my sugar in because that has to melt and come to a boil and once it comes to a boil then we're still going to boil it for four minutes, three to four minutes. Try to get it all kind of wet. All right, I'll bring y'all back in just a minute when it's all melted. Okay, y'all, it's just about melted, you can see. And it's starting to simmer around the edges. Mm. This is an exciting week for us. Y'all have heard me talk about Lauren, my only granddaughter, and you know that she's in college. Well, she graduates tomorrow night from Texas A&M, or tomorrow evening, I think it starts at 2. So we are very excited about that. So that's where I'll be tomorrow. I'll be celebrating all of her hard work. She'll have a degree in biology. And I think her mom said A&M is the number three college in the U.S. for biology. I believe it's the U.S. It's very hard, very hard. And we're just real proud of what she's done. Okay, it's starting to boil, but it's not boiling, boiling to where I can't stir it down. It's got little bubbles in it. I'm going to go ahead and start my timer because I don't want it to get too and set it for four minutes. I don't want it to get so hard that I can't pour it out of here. Okay, I'm going to let that go for four minutes and then I'll be back and show y'all what's going on. Can you see how it's kind of foaming up and looking different? <clears throat> we're gonna, we've got to bake it for a few minutes once we get this poured over our crackers. It's turning a light beige color. Turning, it's gonna look more like toffee. Sure do appreciate y'all watching and searching out the Christmas stuff from last year. There'll be some repeats, but there'll be some new stuff like this one I haven't filmed before. So this will be good. Channel's growing. Welcome to every new subscriber. I'm so glad y'all are here. I'm going to set that for one more minute because I think I started timing it before it was really what they would consider um, boiling because it's supposed to be a little darker than this. See, it's a beige color, but I wanted it to be a more of a caramel color is what I remember, but maybe I don't remember right. We'll see. It isn't going to hurt it. It's not going to burn. It might get a little harder than I would want it on the crackers. I got my June heating to 350. <clears throat> I just love that oven because it's just right for a 9 by 13. Heats a lot quicker than heating my big old oven. Okay, what we're going to do now, see it's a dark, deep caramel color, and I'm going to pour this over my crackers. Sorry, I've got the pan turned away from y'all. I have to work how I can. <laughs> And then I'm going to spread that out so that all the crackers have some covering them.
Don't y'all just love this time of the year? It's just fun. Alrighty, we're going to put this in the oven and bake it for about five to six minutes. Let me get this up on the edges here. Okay, I got it in the oven and I went ahead and set it for six minutes. So when it comes out, I'll bring it back over here and sprinkle the chocolate on the top and smear it out while it melts. Sprinkle the pecans on it and then when it gets set, we break it in pieces and we'll have us some toffee. You're going to wish you was here, but see, it doesn't take long, so if you get your ingredients together, you can make a batch at your house. I'll probably make several batches before Christmas, because I like to have people around, and I have a lots of company this time of the year, and um, this next week, I'm going to have a, <clears throat> I think I'm going to have a ladies' gathering for the ladies from church. We're not real positive on all the arrangements yet, but I love, I love, love, love to have people over, so... I love people to eat my goodies this year. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll be putting chocolate chips and it calls for semi-sweet or milk chocolate and I like to use milk chocolate. So I'm going to have milk chocolate on the top and then I'm going to sprinkle with pecans and I'll show y'all what it looks like and sure as shoot and I'm going to eat a piece of it. Okay I got it out and it's very hot. I want to be sure that all of these crackers, y'all can't see what I can here. Be sure that they have some toffee on them, so they'll all taste yummy. Well, I shouldn't have touched it, because it ain't, it's kind of done setting up. Alright, I'm going to sprinkle my chocolate chips on, so they will melt. It tastes kind of like a Heath bar. Because what was still over there in the uh, pot got just as crunchy as toffee on the Heath bar. Because I scraped it out and ate it. Can y'all believe I did that? Okay, those should all melt. And we'll put uh, pecans on top. So it'll be melted into the chocolate. I may set this back in the oven just to hurry it up some. Because we definitely want to try it here in a minute. Okay, y'all, I set it in the warm oven to go ahead and melt my chocolate. I'm going to grab it out and set it over here and let it cool. And then I'm going to mash it down a little bit. I've already washed my spatula and put it up. That's why I couldn't find it. Some of my chocolate chips didn't look quite melted, but I'm not going to mess with them because it's picking the chocolate up off of the toffee, and I don't want that. So I'll just have to lick this off of here, and when it cools to work and lift it out and um, break it up, I'll show y'all. I'm going to go ahead and lift this out of this pan and set it on my straw mat here for it cool quick because this pan is holding heat. Well, I need another straw mat because it's just a minute. Let me get another one. <clears throat> okay, y'all can see that it's holding its shape because we shaped our foil real good and it's still warm. So when it cools, I'll break it in pieces. I wonder if I could cut it with a pizza cutter and make it more even, but it really doesn't matter. It's going to be good. But I'll be back in a little bit and show you. Y'all, I got it out of the ice box. I went out there and put it in the ice box for a little while. So I'm going to try to cut it. Cut it. I'm going to try to cut it with a pizza cutter. Okay. 
Look how I cut it with a pizza cutter. And it's kind of rich. It could have cooled a little bit more. Well, so I want it in smaller pieces. I don't want it in big old pieces because it's rich. Uh oh. And there'll be some bite size, apparently. I probably should have cooled it a little bit more, but I have to go shopping. So I need to finish this. Isn't that cool? You can taste of it while I'm cutting it. Mmm. -hmm. See, it makes a pretty good tray full of goodies. I love a Heath bar. This is similar to a Heath bar. I wanted to show you the layers in it. So you've got your cracker, and then your caramel, and then the topping. This made a big old pretty tray full of goodie. So here's goodie number one for the holidays. Well, gingerbread was one. I guess we'll have to give gingerbread its place and say this is two. But I've already tasted of it, and oh my goodness, it's so much like a Heath bar. And I love it. I love toffee. I love caramel and toffee flavoring. So here's something that's quick and easy for y'all. You just need butter and sugar, chocolate chips, and pecans. That ain't much, and some crackers. I bet it would be good with Ritz crackers, too, because I like that malty flavor that's in a Ritz. But this one called for saltine. So you can experiment, put whatever you want to. You could put some chopped up candied cherries on the top and press them into the chocolate chips instead of pecans. All kinds of possibilities. Hope y'all will try it. If you do, let me know. And stay tuned and keep watching because it's that time of the year where you don't worry about calories. You just make goodies because we're celebrating the biggest birthday ever. The birthday of our Savior. He's the reason for this season, the reason we're doing all this. I'm sure glad he was born, brought my salvation, and gave us a good legal excuse to have a big old party. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'll see you again in a day or two.